Well, limiting foot traffic at high school football games became a focus tonight. School leaders say it's all in the name of safety. WAFF 48's Matthew King is live from Madison City School Stadium, where around 7,000 people were expected to be there for the Madison Bowl. Matthew, local school districts made some changes for security this season. Yeah, well, tonight here in Madison, leaders were certainly on high alert to keep the expected 7,000 roughly people at this game safe. But other school districts are also implementing rules now to be able to keep people safe at their games as well. High school football season is well underway, but with the exciting times, also comes causes for concerns. If you can't come to a football game and enjoy yourself with your family uh, without knowing that you're going to be in a safe environment, I mean, that's absolutely huge. Recently, Madison County school leaders had to cancel a game between Sparkman and Hazel Green as many students began running around to create chaos. This caused the school system to crack down on unwanted antics. So we tightened up a little bit on uh, admission. Uh, mainly with who we allowed into games. Now elementary or middle school students must enter games with an adult and students in high school will have to show their student IDs. Madison County Schools Athletic Administrator Matt Rogers says they're also keeping students from standing around near the concession stand where that disturbance started. By loitering, standing around the concessions, uh, standing around our, our, our restrooms, um, and we're trying to keep those areas clear for our players, for our fans. A similar policy went into effect for tonight's Madison City Bowl between Bob Jones and James Clements. That students that come to the game, especially those that don't have uh, the ability to drive, need to have an adult there that they could go to if there's any type of emergency. Superintendent Dr. Ed Nichols says it's important to invest in the safety of the game in order to reward the community with a good time. To do this, they had 10 SROs and a private security company on hand. Those kids that are here in the summer and practicing late and sweating, those are givers, and they're giving our community this great opportunity. Well, tonight I was at games for both districts, and I noticed SROs on high alert, specifically SROs cracking down on that foot traffic and overgathering around the concession stand. As for what happened on the field for those two games, stay tuned for our 48 Blitz. Reporting live in Madison, Matthew King, 48 on your side.